Hey guys, welcome back to the Little World. And today, as you can tell, I'm on the floor. Not on my desk, because I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do a standing back bend and a front limber. And then tomorrow, slash today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do a kick over. But I'm not going to be doing a standing back bend on my chair or my desk. That's what I'm doing right here, for obvious reasons. And first, we got to stretch. So, I've had to do this video so much so I don't want to mess up. But, to stretch, you follow my lead. Oh, and the wear. You're going to want to wear this because you're going to get hot and your hair is going to pull up. And if you want to show someone, you're not going to see your... Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> but, you're just going to have to wear this. For obvious reasons, because you're going to get hot, second of all, well, if you want to show someone, you're going to wear this so it doesn't pop up. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to go to this. Do my little skirt yet? I'm trying. I don't want to make you do it. But it's just hard. Okay. <laughs> and then just kind of roll your ankle other way. And then do this one. <laughs> just like up here. And the other way. And do it with the head to stretch it. If people watch this video, then no one's gonna watch it. <laughs> but now I started. But if you know how, if you know how to do cartwheel, you're gonna do which leg? You know, to get if you're a righty, you do your right leg. If you're a lefty, you do your left leg. I'm a lefty, but basically this is what you're gonna be. I'm gonna be learning, teaching you to do today. I'm going to teach you how to do the kick over later though. Okay. But the first thing you're going to be doing for a front limber is a handstand. So let's go do that. Okay. So you, if you, when you do it on a wall, you're practicing to do it well. And then just keep on practicing it out on the wall, and when you're done doing it on the wall, you can eventually do it on the ground, and then come back to me. So, while you guys are learning your front lever, your hands thing. Okay, I, I keep on looking and like looking over here because my dog is staring at me. Yes, this is my dog. You saw her in like the first video. You haven't seen her in a while. She's not growling. She was lumping, so we took her to the vet and gave her some pain medicine. She didn't stop hurting. She scraped her paw, so poor Scylla. She'll feel better, though. Won't you? She is. But let's go back to my video. <laughs> my dog always gets attention. But, but use that leg and just do a handstand. Like that. Really easy, right? And then when you're in the handstand, just kind of curve your legs into a back bend, like this. You stay in the handstand, and then wait. Then I'm gonna look. <laughs> so when you're in the back bend, you kind of just have to lean and curve your legs. Like if you do this, I can't. I just said. If you do this and don't curve your legs, then you're gonna fall. I'm not a pro, hey. But basically, oh my gosh, my arms hurt. My this. But when you're like this, just curve. Well, basically, you have straight legs in the air when you're doing a handstand. When you're straight legs, you curve it like this and then lean back your back. So when you land, you land in the back bit. So, okay. Curve your legs and then. <laughs> that took 
a while and then you did a front bumper. So now we spent about five minutes. We spent five minutes of doing standing back bend. Standing back bend is trickier, but I'm gonna teach you what you're gonna be doing. But that's what you're gonna be doing the first part that I did. Actually, probably may be easier to explain, but to do it's hard for me. For a bumper. You basically just have to stand up. And then curve, just lean back, and you have to keep your arms up. Because if you put your arms on the side, then you're going to land on your head. If you keep your arms up, then you're going to land on your arm, which is better. So, you can just go slowly. When I go slowly, I hurt, I hurt my back, so I fall down. I kind of have to do it fast, but try and do it slow. See, I kind of did it fast. But you kind of just have to curve, you kind of just have to lean your back like that. But like, like that, I'm not going to do explain gestures right there, so I'm going to hit it. But make sure you keep your arms up or else you're going to land on your head. And then that's going to hurt really badly. But if you are having trouble putting your hands on the side, totally get a mat. I don't have a mat right now, it's downstairs, but I don't really feel like getting it. And don't do pillows. She has my tried pillows and it just makes you slide. Because I've been learning how to do my back walkover and I've been using this because my hand's been hurting to hit the ground really hard. But this pillow just slides. And I want to go get my mat, but my mat's too stiff that, I don't know. Just, I kind of have to do it on the rug, but it hurts my hands. So, very... I need to get one of those thin mats, which I don't have. But that's supposed to be you guys kinda know how to do standing back bend, like that's the best I can explain it. But I'm pretty sure next video I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to do a stand up, which I'm gonna tell you I've been doing kick over the whole entire time, but a stand up is basically I'm gonna do a front lumber because I, I like doing front lumbers better because it doesn't really hurt my back. <laughs> but a stand up you just have to do I'm gonna get over here so I don't bump into you guys. You can't really see me. No, I totally did mess it up. I'm gonna do it over here. I'm gonna do my front under here so you can see my face. Oh. <coughs> Hello. I wanna get a little closer. <sighs> and then you just kind of put your. Dude. I can do a stand. I am not leaving until I do my stand. <laughs> Gotta do it. When I do it, I'm gonna end this video. So. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Just cut my way over here. Ah. Oh my gosh. I totally just fell. I know how to do it. I'm still gonna do it. I'm gonna do a break this time. Here's another one. It's so legs. No, I'm just gonna end it. Cause I know how to do it and so I'll, send it. I'll show you guys when I do it, but just too tired, but I guess oh gosh, I'm out of breath. <laughs> so I'm laughing so much. But hope you guys like this video and I hope I helped you figure out how to do your standing back bend and your front limber. And as you can tell from me doing my stand up, it's not gonna work for a try. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt your wrist. But it's just gonna have to keep on practicing. But I hope you like this video and come watch more of Libby's room. And thank you so much for watching. Bye. Wait, actually, hopefully we leave. Say bye to my dog. Bye, Sheila. You heard. Oh. <laughs> bye, guys. You heard what she said. She said bye, guys. So, so I'm going to end this video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.